We'll take a look at suspected drag racer tries to get away from police, but hits a Miami Dade police officer on the way out. The hit and run turned into a police chase stretching all the way to Palm Beach County. NBC6 reporter Christian Colon joins us now with how this all went down. Christian. Yeah, police have been dealing with this illegal street racing for a while now. The latest arrest coming in for Tristan Lawson, who police say participated in the drifting and he also hit their fellow officer. The skid marks are the only signs left of Sunday's troubles. Court records show the area around Northwest 61st and 17th Ave were filled with cars drifting and blocking the road, as we have seen many times across South Florida. You're charged here, first of all, with attempted uh murder, aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting an officer with violence. Police say 22 year old Tristan Lawson was seen doing donuts super fast in a red Dodge Charger. Records show more people were inside the car with him. At one point, police attempted to stop him. He made eye contact with the lieutenant, proceeded to accelerate and struck the lieutenant with his vehicle. The lieutenant landed on the hood of the defendant's vehicle, fled to the ground, and then the defendant fled the scene. After hitting the officer, Lawson fled north on 17th Avenue. He made his way onto I-95 and drove over 60 miles. Miami-Dade Chopper watched from above until the suspect was seen exiting around Forest Hill Boulevard in West Palm Beach. Lawson was arrested along with another man. A third male wasn't located. When you intentionally ram into a police officer, you are intending to kill someone. Lawson is the latest arrest as police try to control drag racing. Last month, Miami-Dade arrested 11 people and issued 17 citations. Two weeks ago, traffic on I-95 came to a standstill as drivers and hundreds of spectators took over the highway for stunts. At any given moment, any of these uh, drivers can lose control and hurt all the spectators or even take the lives of these spectators. And Miami-Dade police could not comment on the condition of their officer. It's still not clear if more suspects will be arrested or if more suspects are on the loose. As for this defendant, he was denied bond by a judge today. In Miami tonight, Christian Colon, NBC6 News.